Hello everyone. Welcome to the finite element uh, classroom. In this lecture, we are going to solve a problem on the calculation of element strain and element stresses of uh, the axisymmetric element. In the previous lecture, we have calculated the stiffness matrix. So for the same problem, I am going to calculate the element strain and element stresses. So here, this is my axisymmetric element. The coordinates are R and Z. So this is my node 1, node 2 and node 3. So here it will be R1, Z1, R2, Z2, then R3 and Z3. And the displacements are U1 and W1, then U2, W2. Similarly, here it is U3 and W3. We know that the general equation for calculating the element strain is E is equal to B times del. Okay, del or U vector. So here B is the strain displacement matrix. We know the equation for strain displacement matrix. So here we have uh, area, then alpha, beta and gamma. Okay, so we have discussed all these things in the previous lecture. So I am not going to waste my time on that. Then the second equation is for element stress. So that is sigma is equal to db times del. So here d is the stress strain relationship matrix. Then b is the strain displacement matrix and del is the displacement vector. So here since it has uh, 3 degrees of, I mean totally 6 degrees of freedom, your del will be u1, w1, u2, w2 and u3, w3. Okay, so it's almost like the CST problem. So they will give you the displacement values. So by that displacement value, we need to calculate the B matrix, then the D matrix. So as we discussed earlier, for uh, CST element, there is only one constraint that is plane strain. There is no plane stress assumption is there. Only plane strain assumption is there. So we can uh, use this equation. So finally, after calculating the B and D, we can use these two equations to calculate the element stress and element strain. Okay, fine. So, this is my problem. For the axisymmetric element shown in figure, the nodal displacements are U1 is equal to 2mm, W1 is 1mm, U2 is 1mm, W2 is 1.5mm, U3 is 2.5, W3 is 0.5mm. Determine the element strains that is E and the element stresses sigma. So here the Young's modulus and the Poisson ratio is given. So here Young's modulus is given in gigapascal. So to convert gigapascal into megapascal because megapascal is same like your Newton per mm square. So it is 10 power 3 Newton per mm square. Okay. So here they have already given the coordinates. So this is R1, Z1, this is R2, z2 and this is r3 and z3 and here the nodal displacements are u1 w1 then here it is u2 w2 and here it is u3 and w3 so this is my node 1 node 2 and node 3 okay fine so first i am going to calculate the element strain the equation for element strain is E is equal to B times the del. Okay, So this is the equation for uh, B matrix. We know it. So here we have A that is area of the element. And the A equation for area of the element is 1 by 2, 1 R1, Z1, 1 R2, Z2 and 1 R3, Z3. Okay. So the R1 value and Z1 values are given in the problem. So I have substituted it. And you can use the calculator to solve this. So you can use determinant of A in your calculator. So the final area will be 2000 mm square. Fine. The next one is alpha, beta and gamma. So as I told earlier, so we'll start with beta. Okay. So for beta, it is B1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, then 3, 1, 2. So similarly for R, so if it is 2 minus 3, then for gamma, then here it is 3 minus 2. Here it is 3 minus 1. So here it is 1 minus 3. And for 1 minus 2, here it is 2 minus 1. So 
first i have calculated beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 then gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 so after calculating beta and gamma you can come into alpha so for alpha you can refer that so here it is 2 3 so it is 2 3 minus 3 1 i mean 3 2 then 3 1 minus 1 3 you can see that 3 1 minus 1 3 then 1 2 1 2 minus 2 1 so this is how you have to remember the alpha beta and gamma equations then we have r and z that is the average of coordinates so it is r1 plus r2 plus r3 by 3 then z1 z2 z3 divided by 3 okay so i have calculated uh, almost uh, all the things that is area alpha beta and gamma then the second row i can calculate it individually be before going to the matrix for simplification so this is my second row so alpha 1 plus beta 1 r plus gamma 1 z by r similarly for alpha 2 beta 2 gamma 2 then alpha 3 beta 3 and gamma 3 so i have substituted all the values and i have calculated the final results so once after calculating the second row individually if you want you can directly substitute uh, it here you don't need to calculate it separately so here i have calculated it separately you can uh, if you want you can directly substitute all the alpha values directly in the matrix so this is my b matrix so here i have uh, simplified the matrix so this is my final b matrix okay so why i have simplified this is because you cannot use the calculator for multiplication okay since it is uh, of size uh, 4 cross 6 we cannot use the calculator okay then the second one is d matrix so for plane strain we know the equation for d matrix so i have calculated uh, the d matrix it here and i have simplified it so i have taken the 0 0.2 outside so if i take 0 0.2 outside then i will get 3 1 1 1 3 1 then 1 1 3 okay so you can see that fine so now the element strain equation is e is equal to b into del so this is my b matrix and this is my del that is u1 w1 u2 w2 u3 and w3 okay so so you have to multiply this manually you cannot use the calculator so multiply the first row with the first column and write it here then second row second column third row third column and fourth row fourth column so we know the matrix multiplication so we will get four strain values okay so the first one is radial strain then circumferential strain and longitudinal strain finally the one is shear strain okay so we'll get four strain values then after calculating the strain value the equation for element stress is sigma is equal to we know that it is d i mean sorry d b into del so just like the previous problem first i am going to calculate the b, d b alone okay so this is my d matrix and this is my b matrix i have calculated the d b and after calculate it i have substituted it here so this is sigma this is my d into b and here this is my del so now i can multiply these two and i will get the final stress value so this is my sigma r sigma data sigma z and tau r z so radial circumferential longitudinal and the shear stress okay so this is the problem is same so here i have considered the same problem so i have directly substituted the values i have directly calculated b matrix d matrix then i have multiplied it just like the cst problems because we have solved the same kind of problems in the cst element also we have calculated the element strain and element stresses for the cst element also so this is of same type okay only thing you have to multiply this manually you cannot use the calculator so here uh, is the tutorial problem calculate the element strains and element stresses so e and sigma for the axisymmetric element shown in figure so this is the given element so this is r1 z1 r2 z2 r3 and z3 the nodal displacements are given then e is given it is in giga pascal converted into newton per mm square and poisson ratio is given so the all coordinates are given in mm okay here so here the, these are all mm so this line is very important some of the problems they may give the coordinates in centimeter so in that case you have to convert the centimeter into mm or otherwise you have to solve the problem in 
centimeter itself so that is very important okay so uh, have a serious look about it so this is uh, the final solution we can calculate sigma is equal to d b into del before that e is equal to b into del okay so this is the stress value radial stress axial stress i mean circumferential stress axial stress and the shear stress okay so the problem is same like your uh, class work problem you can refer the class work problem and you can complete this